For the following exercises, rewrite the quadratic functions in standard form and give the vertex. Okay. So we've done two questions like this already. If you guys want to check those out, those will be more in-depth questions because they, we were just starting with those. You could check that out on the quadratic functions playlist. The link is in the description below, but let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that I, I should notice or that we should notice is that quadratic functions always has the highest power of X squared. Okay. So if you have a X squared in your function, it's a quadratic function. So the, the basis of quadratic functions is given in its formula. So we'll do the first one on the left hand side first. So we have h of x equals 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. Now we should automatically know, or not automatically, but we should know and memorize that there are two different formulas for the quadratic functions. There's a general formula, general formula, and then there is the standard form. So we can say the general form and the standard form just to make everything nice and neat. Okay. So now what is the difference between the general form and the standard form? The general form is the one that you're probably going to see most often. This one is a X squared plus B X plus C and a, b, and c are all number values. But you see this nice little thing happening where you have an x squared value and then you have an x value. So by just looking at this form, I have an x squared value, I have an x, and then I have three numbers. That is the general form. And the same thing goes for this one if we just quickly look over on the right hand side. The standard form is a little bit different this one is represented by, um, we'll say a X minus H squared plus K. So there are some similarities. They both have an a value. However, there is no B and there is no C in the standard form. Instead, there are H's and K's. The standard form gives you a little bit more context as to what this quadratic looks like. Now, just know that quadratics either look like this. So if you want, you can just quickly write this down. So just know that quadratics are either smiley faces, right? You see how there's like a smiley, right? It's smiling at you or it's frowning at you. That's your only two options. A quadratic function is either smiling so it's like in this shape or it's this shape. Now, if we're talking about a smile, the lowest point, the turnover, right? When it's going low and then it goes back up, the lowest point would be called a minima, which we'll totally get to in a in later context. But the point that gives you the lowest point is called the vertex. Now the same thing goes if you had a frowny face, Whee! the highest point would be called the maxima, but that point in which the graph will start changing from going all the way to the tippy top to now going down, this point is the vertex. Ah, we have to find that point. So. Just know that the vertex, and I'm just going to write that over here. The vertex is always written as H comma K. You could remember this by it's literally going increasing in the English alphabet, right? H comes before K in the alphabet. So you can only get these letters and it's, you know, it's like an X comma Y value, right? And maybe I'll just write that at the bottom. That's basically what it is. It's just a point, right? But your vertex comes from the standard form because the standard form has H and it has K. The general formula does not. So we need to get this general formula into its standard form, and then we can figure out what that vertex is. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to list out what 
A, B, and C is in our general form. And remember, A, B, and C are the letters in front of the x squared, the x, and the one by its lonesome. So I see that I have a 2, a positive 8, and a negative 10. Notice that I am incorporating those signs because that will tell me the sign of my number. So the a value in front of the x squared is a 2. The b value in front of the x, it's a positive 8, so 8. And then the c value, there's a negative in front, so it's a negative 10. This is the same thing as saying plus a negative 10. So there is your actual number. So negative 10. Okay. But where do we go from here, right? How do I get from A, B's, and C's to H's and K's? Here's the formula. To find out an H value, and you will always find an H before you find a K, okay? So the, okay, find the K, okay. <laughs> So an H value is always found by just doing a little bit of simple math. The formula is negative B all over 2A. So that's the correlation between the general B and A and the H, right, in the standard form. So we know what B and A is, right? B was 8 and A was a 2. So let's figure that out. H equals negative B over 2A. So I'm just going to put in those numbers. The negative is in the formula, so I have to put it there. Negative 8 divided by 2 times 2. So if we just simplify this, this would be negative 8 divided by 4. And then simplify this, this would be equal to negative 2. So we know that our h value is a negative 2. So we already know this part of the standard form. And we also know the vertex the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is a negative 2. Now we just have to find the k value. How do we do that? So let me just mark this down. This always do first. Find that h value. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the k value. And how you do that is k, and it's a lowercase k. Sometimes it's really hard for me to do lowercase k's on here. k is just the function of h. Now what does this really mean, right? This means that you're literally going to plug in what your value for h was into the function. We've done tons of problems like this um, where we just input numbers into the function and then we just solve. So that's all that this is. It's just a plug in. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll do like number two over here. Our k value would be f of h, right? And we found out that our h was a negative 2. So I'm just going to input a negative 2 in here, right? So if I just get rid of the h, I'm going to say that I have a negative 2, because that's what the h value was. And that means that we're going to take our function, which was this, 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. And for all of the x values, I'm going to put in a negative 2. So a negative 2 goes here, and a negative 2 goes here. So I'm going to solve. So let's see. We're going to say this equals 2, and I'm going to try to color code it just so that it makes sense. So I'm going to say 2 times the negative 2, and that's squared, plus 8 times the negative 2, minus 10. Do you see how I just substituted in my h value in for all of my x's? And now we just do the math, right? So this would be 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is a 4, plus 8 times a negative 2 is a negative 16, minus 10. So this is, in essence, 2 times 4 now is 8. I'm just going to kind of simplify that. So we have 8 minus 16 minus 10. And what is that? We get a negative 8 minus 10, right? If we do 8 minus 16, 8 minus 16 is negative 8. Minus 10, I get a negative 18. 
and that all equaled K, lowercase k. And there you go. So now we have our H value and we have our K value. So let's do the vertex real quick. The vertex was H comma K. So it is negative 2 comma negative 18. Now, just to put this in context, right, if we had a graph, the vertex would go over 2 and down 18, right? So it would be somewhere over here. But now, do I, do I know that it's going to be a smiley face? Is that vertex going to be a minima? Or is it going to be a maxima by it being a frowny? The A value always tells you what's going on. Since our A value is positive, and, you know, if a graph is positive, it's going to smile. If it's negative, it's going to frown, right? It doesn't want to be negative. It's frown. So we know that we're smiling here. We have a minima. So that just kind of puts everything into context. Now let's just quickly put it into standard form and call it a day, for this one at least, right? So my standard form, and just know that it's equal to h of x, right? These two are equal to, you know, whatever the function is, whether it's f of x or g of x, doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep this as f of x because that's usually standard, right? But in this case, it's h of x, so we have to keep it like that. So this one would be h of x equals, standard form is this formula, the a value was 2, so I have to put a 2 in there, parenthesis, x minus h. The minus is in the formula, and now we have a negative 2 as our h value, right? And then it's plus k. k was a negative 18, so it's really minus 18, and a negative minus 2, keep change change, this is really x plus 2. And that is all squared. This part is squared, right? So there you go. 2 times x plus 2 squared, and then minus 18. So there's your two answers, your vertex and your standard form for this one. Now let's kind of do the same thing for the one on the left, right? k of x equals 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. Just like we did before, we always have to start by listing our a, b, and c values. a, b, c. Make sure that you keep those signs in there, right? So my a value would be 3. My B value would be a negative 6. Remember, this is the same as saying plus a negative 6. So I have to put that negative in there. And then negative 9. The first thing always is we're going to solve for H, right? Always solve for H first, and then you can solve for K by using this formula. H is equal to negative B divided by 2A. So I'm just going to plug in. The negative is in the formula, and now the b was a negative 6 all over 2 times a, which was 3. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 3 is 6, so my h value is just 1. And let me just put this as an h over here. Okay, so that's that part. I found the first part of my vertex. Now the second thing that we have to do is we have to solve for, and maybe I'll put the 2 over here, we have to solve for k. And remember, you're going to plug in the h value into the formula. So in this case, k was equal to f of 1. So if my formula was 3x squared minus 6x minus 9, I'm plugging in 1 for all of my x values. So this would be equal to, and let's color code this, 3 times a 1, and that's squared, minus 6 times a 1, and then minus 9, right? Do you see how I literally just put this 1 in here for the x and the x over here? Now we just got to simplify. 1 squared is 1, and 1 times 3 is 3, minus 6 times 1 is 6, minus 9. 
So I have three minus six, which is a negative three, all minus nine, which will give me negative three minus nine is a negative 12. And that equals K. So we found the second part of the vertex. So our vertex for this one would be H comma K. H was a one and K was a negative 12. So one comma negative 12. And that would be the point in which the graph turns, right? So one negative 12 somewhere over here. And is it a smile? Is it a frown? The A value is positive. It's smiling, smiley. So that means that it would be a minima. It would be smiling. Now let's just put it all into standard form, right? We have all the information that we need. In this case, it was K of X. So K, Ooh, sorry. So for these, you see how instinctively I say F here. So remember, it's just, you know, what they say over here. So this should have been technically a K. K of one because it was K of X. Over here, I did the same thing because it's just an instinct to use F. But it should have been an H because it was H of X. But the math is still the same. So now going back over here, it has to be K of X equals, the standard form is this formula, so we know what A is, it's a three, parentheses, X minus H. H was now a positive one, so it's just minus one, and that's all squared. And then plus K, K was a negative 12, so it's a minus 12. And that is the answer. Not bad. Okay, guys, what'd you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped. And if it did, click the like button, hit that subscribe button if you'd like. Uh, we're trying to get to 10K. That would be pretty cool. Crazy, right? Crazy how far we've come. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you for that. And I hope we're helping you guys out in your classes. Um, if you want to help us out, spread the word. All right? Um, love helping you guys. See you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.